hello professionals i welcome you all to this tutorial series on fire suppression design today we'll be designing for the fire hydrant fire hydrant is actually the simplest part of fire suppression designing and they are always been incorporated with the site water distribution layout of every mechanical project design so here is a sample project here is the cover page and here is the site layout so here is the water supply layout and on this our water supply layout we have an hydrant here likewise an hydrant here so here is the standard symbol of an hydrant so there is another project here so this is the standard symbol of an hydrant likewise this is the standard tag fh so we do incorporate an hydrant on every water supply distribution layout mostly is always at the second page of our project design ordinarily mep design engineers are only required to perform two operations the first is to specify the best fit position for the hydrant so you need to specify the best fit position for the hydrant likewise you still need to size your main so that you'll be able to accommodate the hydrant without interfering with the building water supply so let's actualize these two process here is a sample project let's start from here using this project as a case study now so this is my water supply distribution the project is actually using a solitary water system i mean it's generating its water supply from a borehole so we are not connected to the municipal grid here is an overhead tank so we have we're having i guess we're having two numbers of five thousand liters overhead tank here so from our overhead tank we are having a, our hydrant here but before that the nfpa standard 24 nfpa 24 yeah is the standard that prevails while designing and installing an hydrant but to make it simple one of the basic consideration of an MEP engineer is to ensure that every building part all the building part rather is within 45 meter range of the hydrant by placing my hydrant here probably i'm placing my hydrant here so let's take, take the dimension so from my hydrant here so this is where the building ends actually so it ends somewhere around here let's assume it ends here so by taking the dimension so we have almost 30 meter that means these are design conforms with it also nfp also specify that the hydrant must be free from from any obstruction with a minimum of 1.5 meter so while considering that we're having an obstruction here which is the wall one meter that means this our position doesn't conform with nfpa standards most another standard is here which is the valve pit so having almost one meter again so i don't think we have issue with the overhead stand here. this one doesn't even touch the ground you know considering nfpa we need to have specify another position that is best fit for our hydrant so in that respect we need let's move our hydrant so we can't put it at the parking space here. so the only space we still have in our building is either we put it here either we put it here which is okay or we put it here let's copy cp so i trying to let's put it there so these are the only two open spaces in our building considering nfp again minimum of 1.5 meter from any obstruction so i don't think we have eu here 
okay press run so we still need to move it very close here yeah, let's check so yep likewise constrain this okay so we are good to go this is actually another best fit position let's consider this we have our gate out there is very close which implies it doesn't work here so this is another best fit position but in respect of that the second major consideration is to consider the hydrant main but ordinarily an hydrant do have two outlets but the one we do is in the building industry is the two and a half inch outlet which is equivalent to 65 mm also we have two types of hydrants so we have the dry types and the wet types we really do use the dry types except if our piping layout can be subjected to freezing mostly in aerox but on the norms we do use the wet type the hydrant we do use in the building services is different from the general hydrant urban and regional planners so our own supply is 65 mm we still need to consider servicing our hydrant here with 65 mm which implies we'll have to have a pipe connection coming all this way to our hydrant or another option is to have an 100 mm piping so from the 100 mm piping we now tap for the hydrant so by considering these two options is obviously far expensive than having it here so when i confab it with the developer he prefers to have it here so that we can just have a bypass and the water pipe service main is just 40 mm that's why i'm having it here although it doesn't conform with the nfpa standards in addition to that as a building services engineer you need to consider the cost so which is the reason we're having it here more so you still need to consider the accessibility while considering the accessibility it's better to have it very close to the building main entrance so that it will be easily accessible and it will easily be seen in case of fire incidents that's why i actually prefer to have it here but because of the site layout i'm unable to place it anywhere around here in a nutshell these are the basic things you do consider while designing an hydrant building services engineers are required to specify the best fit position which we've definitely actualized likewise the pie pen because the pipe although we still need to elucidate further on the piping in our subsequent videos keep tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe